Hi, Andy. How are you? Hi, Shad. Andy, um, former Ireland head coach Eddie O'Sullivan said that um, Johnny Sexton's reaction to his substitution in Paris undermined you and the team. Do you think it undermined you first and the team? Uh, no, not at all. Um, it's, uh, Johnny's a, a passionate guy. And it's the reason that we all love him as a player for, for how long he's been at the top of the Irish game, you know. Um, uh, I suppose there's always there's always a bit of learning from every game that you play, etc. But uh, no, I don't feel undermined and neither do the team neither, you know. We need Johnny to be himself and obviously there's always going to be learnings along the way. But, you know, you're not going to change uh, overnight uh, a person that's been at the top doing what he's done because of the, because of the intent and the attitude that he's got. Andy, can I just ask you, did, did you feel the need to, uh, just working off what Keith Wood and Brian O'Driscoll said about uh, how a captaincy should behave, did you feel the need to talk to Johnny? Do I feel like I need to talk to him? Did, did you feel like you needed to have a discussion, you or him, or did he come to you? We always have discussions. We, we, we spoke quite a number of times before today. Um, in fact, the last time was five minutes ago. So we, uh, we, we, we constantly talk about, uh, uh, about how things are going with the, with the group. On this particular issue, though, of course, of course, we we, we always discuss uh, everything that goes on. We're always discussing his individual game and his captaincy, etc. So we're always learning together. Is this a storm in the teacup kind of a situation? And are we? Is it one hundred percent? What do you think? One hundred percent. You know, the the last thing that I want to do to Johnny is stop him being himself as well. Else we all suffer, don't we? Thanks. Hi, Johnny. Um, Andy Farrell was just saying there that he. Thought uh, the reaction to your reaction to being substituted was a storm in a teacup. I suppose on reflection now, how do you feel yourself? Uh, probably a mix, really. Um, yeah, d disappointed in myself with the reaction to a certain extent. Um, obviously, if I'd known the the stories that it was going to create and the the way that it's been perceived, I obviously wouldn't have done it, but you got to take it from my point of view, it's in the heat of the moment, I'm, I'm in the biggest, you know, up there at the biggest games I've played in as captain, and um, yeah, it's, it's obviously a, a low point, and I, I reacted in a bad way for a split second, um, and that, that's that's it really, um, that's all I can say really, I have I spoke to Andy after the game, um, I spoke to him on Sunday when I realised it was such a, a such a big thing, um, and we sorted things out. And I apologised and said, "Look, it shouldn't have happened. It did. It was a split second, and um, obviously let myself down in, in that regard. But you learn and you and you move on. Really, um, I suppose it's not the first apology I've made in my career, and it won't be the last probably. Um, so, yeah, we'll move on. Thankfully, we've got a good relationship, and um, we there's no problems going forward so did you apologize to andy johnny of course i did yeah and um, so were you surprised then do you think the reaction was a bit over the top johnny i know brian driscoll said it was a dreadful look and do you feel you were scapegoated a bit for it for the defeat well you don't you, you don't realize you're going to be on obviously if i knew if someone said to me you're on the big screen i'm not going to do it if um yeah, if I had had time to think about it, I wouldn't have done it. But you're in the heat of battle. You're playing an international. It means a lot to you. You're the captain of the team. And you're as disappointed in the performance as much as anything because ultimately the team's performance is down to, you know, I've got to make sure that the lads are in a better place to, 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 do, what they're, to do what they're meant to do. So it, there's as much disappointment in, like, in the situation as there is in the in the substitution, you know, um, and then the other thing is what what like obviously I need to deadpan it and just walk off, like you know, I am who I am, and you know, I like I said, I've apologised to the people that to the people that matter. I but I'm, I'm not going to sit here and sort of apologise to the whole world because it was a split second uh, thing and split second decision that I wish I didn't make, but I did. So there you go. Uh, Johnny, all, all the fuss a, 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 about this, uh, like, is there something you feel sometimes you could you could do without? You know, the the, the extra responsibility and the burden that, that comes with being captain. Uh, no, like I, I love being captain of the, of this. It's a huge honour. Um, when Andy asked me to do it, um, it was like I said, one of the biggest honours of my career, of the biggest probably. 
and uh, incredibly proud to do it. Um, I'm trying, you know, to get better in the role. I'm trying always to to seek out opinions and and talk to the lads and and, and talk to the to the management and and see where I'm going. You know, if I'm doing a good enough job and, and all those things. And um, no, I don't. It's not an extra. I've dealt with it my whole career. You know, I've dealt with. With these, I've reacted worse before coming off. Uh, obviously, I wasn't captain at the time, and um, I know with the people saying, you know, oh, is this okay now for players? No, of course it's not okay for players to to do that. But at the same time, it's it's a split split reaction, like it's a it's a one second thing, and and obviously not every player gets. Normally, the the cameras go to the player that comes on, not the player coming off. But obviously, my French friends, um, you know, wanted to ga- gather my reaction. Uh, Johnny, m- moving past your, that, that big screen reaction and all that, how frustrating, or have you tried to express how frustrating it was to be removed from a championship match with 10 minutes to go and eight points down? Uh, is, was that something that still sticks with you, that you felt captain out half, that you really wanted to be on to make the difference at the end? Yeah, of course I want to be on. That's that's why yeah. I, I was obviously disappointed. Um, I was, like I said previously, I was also disappointed with how the game had gone up to that point because I felt that we didn't play to our potential and um, yeah they're the moments that you you train hard for and they're the moments you want to be involved in and I need to be better you know to make sure next time that that I'm on for you know those minutes and and that I don't uh, yeah that's that's it really I've got to be better myself to make sure that I'm there f- next time Johnny, why do you feel Ireland have failed to reproduce their consistent form since 2018? Uh, well, this is a very different team and, and different coaches, different personnel, so we can't keep talking about, obviously we're the same country, um, but we're, we are, we're trying to move forward, you know, so for us this is, we're a new team, this is, this is us 20... 20 we started off the the as a, as a fresh new team we won three out of five games and that's where we're at and now we need to, to move forward so yeah we haven't found the consistency of this team um like the previous team had before them obviously there's some personnel that are similar but there's a lot of personnel that that aren't here and and, and we need to to look at that journey as as it's to start and it is um is it where we want to be no but we, we we're confident that we can improve and, and move forward and hopefully we'll see that over the next few games and then on to next year's Six Nations And um, what is it you think that you need to do to get back to that level? Well there's lots of things isn't there there's lots of things in every part of our game I think the consistency is, is one bit being a bit more ruthless in terms of like we have plenty of chances against France um, like mm-hmm. I think we spent close to five minutes in the game, you know, in, in their 22, and to come away with not a lot, um, you know, was a, was a, was a, you know, very disappointing compared to. I think they might have had a minute in ours, and they come away with, you know, they got tries from from nothing really, and uh, you know, some brilliant pieces of play by them, some mistakes by us. So it's uh, the, the chances are there. And we just need to become a ruthless team and, and, and going for them. Even that moment before half time, you know, a ruthless team scores there and, and the game can totally change. Everything, the whole, the way the second half pans out can totally change. But they're the, they're the small things that make champion sides and, and we're not there at the moment. 